Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles and this is the Conan Exiles main map and we're just down here in our little base on the north side of Noob River let's look at that again yeah we're just down here let's zoom out so a fairly sort of centralish position I suppose um, but yeah I've been doing a little bit of work on my base here the last time you saw this this was built out of sandstone but this is now insulated wood and it's been decorated with some other crap I've been finding in loot boxes uh, so not much going on there I've got myself a little thrall there working the furnace I've shifted a few things around got lots of tents I've picked up I've been laying it all out quite nicely I think but I have to say this isn't my only base now because I've been building this in the background <laughs> yeah I spent quite a lot of time on this and again, this is mostly sandstone, but with insulated wood bits and pieces on it. So we'll have a quick look at that in a minute. But what we want to do today is a couple of things. We need to get ourselves a horse. So we're going to explore upriver around here. You used to be able to find horses more or less around here, to be honest with you. I've not seen one here for a while. But I know we can find horses... Where is it? Around here? Yeah, I think it's on, on this stretch. Anyway, we'll sort that out. The other thing I want to do is go and have a look at Gallimund's tomb. Because I think you can find brimstone down there. The only other two sources of brimstone are some sort of vents over here in Buccaneers Bay. And also right on the other side of the map, up in the Shattered Springs, there's some spires there. But I seem to remember you do find a little bit of brimstone in Gallimund's tomb. So I want to check that out. The other thing is I want to go to this place called Sinner's Refuge, which we briefly looked at at the end of the last episode, because that's full of thralls, and I figured we might knock a few on the head. Yeah, get some more help, because we do need it. I've got lots of workbenches in here now. But let's have a quick tour. First thing you ought to know is that when I built the foundation, I noticed that we were just slightly under the water. And rather than build, well, rather than start from scratch and build uh, another layer on top of this, I thought we'd make this a feature. So the idea is that the basement, or the bottom floor of this tower, is all flooded. And I've got my little wheel of pain here. So we're going to find some thralls to put on here in a few minutes. So you've got a flooded basement area. Then we come up here. And this is like the heavy craft. It's got the carpenter, blacksmith, tanner, tanner's tables, saddler's workbench. All this originally was just all sandstone foundation blocks, but I thought it looked a bit boring. So what I did, I added these like window alcoves, which I think are quite nice. Yeah, so all you need to do to make an alcove like that is make sure that those blocks above this space are supported by a ceiling piece. So that's a ceiling piece there. And then you've just got a window there. And this is a doorway without a door on it. But I've got those on quite a few floors now. This leads out to like a little balcony. Got a balcony at the back. Gives us a nice view of the south of the river. Goes all the way around here. And what I could do if I wanted to is extend this out, create another tower if I need one. But I think this tower is plenty big enough for the time being really. But if we go upstairs, this is the entrance to a tower here. Yeah, so this is the tower. If you're looking at this place from the northern bank, this is the tower on the left. And you've got the solid foundation here, and then a wooden tower on top. And what I might do with this is turn this into a treasure room. And this down here, I might have the, um, I can never remember what you call it, but the coining bench. There's like a bench that you can make coins and jewellery and things like that. So I might put that there. Um, if you'll excuse me for a second, I'm just going to change the time of day. Hang on. There you go. I've just locked it to noon to make it a little bit brighter. Anyhow, on the next floor, we've got all our arts and crafts, you might call them. We've got an armourer's bench. Got one artisan table, a Tyranian one. So yeah, I'm going to put the creative stuff in here, like there'll be a tinker's workbench other stuff <laughs> as I think of it got more windows uh, got a, another tower here let's come out 
again this is a solid foundation what I might put here is a transportery stone when I get around to building one or I could turn this into a taller tower like the other one on the other side there's the balcony down there uh, yeah, very pleased with that though. Oh, something else. The sentinels have reappeared. These huge statues were missing when I started this playthrough and they reappeared at the end of the last episode. So I'm quite pleased to see them back. Goodness knows why they went invisible. You could bash into their feet, but you couldn't see them. But they are back again. So that's very nice. What's that noise? What is that noise? Okay, oh, well, I'll figure that out later. We keep going up. We've got another working floor here. And this is going to be like sorcery and alchemy. So I've got a guardian assembly station there. With a few bits and pieces that I've found. Got a golem workbench. Uh, Thalmat I can never pronounce this. Thaumaturgy bench where I do my sorcery. Uh, alchemist bench and a firebolt cauldron. More windows. Is that good? upstairs and this is the private quarters fairly empty at the moment just got a bed and some cushions got a little bit of treasure in here but if we come through this door then we come out to this slight balcony that goes all the way around the outside again lovely views bloody hell what are you doing here you little bastard I mean I've seen him before this guy he normally swims around down there he somehow found his way up here though. Absolute disgrace. Right, anyway, that is the house tour. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've been trying to get this to open indoors all the time. But it's not working out for whatever reason. Anyhow, let's go down through here. So what we'll do now is go and attack Sinner's Refuge, I think. We'll do that first. Try and get a decent thrall going on the wheel downstairs. And then we will go and find a horse. And we will take a quick look into Gallimund's tomb. So let's come out here. Um, all my thralls are pretty rubbish at the moment, I'm afraid. They're all tier one. So that's a Shemite Exile tier one. Zamorian. And we've got you here. She's actually level four though. So she's the best I've got <laughs> for the time being. And she's got a bit of food on her. So I will give her a club. Take that off you. Get you following. And then Sinner's Refuge is up here and around the corner. So I will get... Yeah, I've got a club there. Have I got a lasso? Yeah, that's nice. Probably do need to repair that at some point. Uh, can I repair that? Oh, I can't repair it from there. Let's get it down again. Let's get it down and right click repair. Good. Swap that out. Nice one. We're all sorted. Have I got a shield though? I don't think I've got a shield. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah, the last shield I had broke. Uh, how do I repair that? I should be able to repair that. I built that shield. That is peculiar. I do have the recipe for that shield. Why can't I repair it? Well, we'll make a wooden shield. We'll make a wooden shield before we go up. I will need one. Get some wood. Get some wood, please. Come on. Oh, what else? Do I need a bit of twine? Do I have any twine on me? Yeah, there we go. Shielded up. All happy now. Let's run up here. There will be a few people to take down on the way. Uh, that's a great sword, isn't it? Okay, well, we use it for the time being. There are a few miscreants to take down, like you. This might level up our girl a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get a bit closer. <laughs> you take the wrong fight. Yeah, you're not going to do anything with that, are you? Oh, look at the damage he did, though. Pathetic. Yeah, we picked up this steel greatsword from Sepa Maru in the last episode. But I think we've got to go around here. There are, unfortunately, some hyenas. Hang on, I'm going to get a... Yeah, that's an iron war axe. Don't want that. Have I got the other one up? Hang on. Here we go. Yeah, the steel battle axe. And I can use that one-handed. 
Good, good. Nice one. Let's carry on round. Oh, hyenas up there. But I think Sinner's Refuge is just here. There we go. There we go. Well, let's start bashing people. Hopefully you can stay alive. Let's get going. There's a few people outside. And occasionally you do get a named throng on the inside, I think. Damn it. Let's get in there. All right, sticky on tier two. Better than anything I've got. Right, you're named. Nice. He got more kite. Right, I've got to keep an eye on. Oh, she's no, she's dying. Oh, she's dead. Typical. Bloody hell. I should have been watching after her though. Come on, come on, Agar. I'm going to take you down. Oh. Well, she got that one. He was only a tier one, though. Well, let's take Hawkeye back with us. I'm not convinced he's going to be very useful, but he's better than nothing. So we'll run back, put him on the wheel. And then we'll come back and have a proper look around. Nice. Back in here. Stick you on. Get you cooking up. It'll take forever to get you going, won't it? Yeah, tier ones are very quick. About 15 minutes of game time. But these guys are going to take a long time. Right, you're up, Shemai XL1. <laughs> but before we do anything else, let's take down some hyenas. See if we can bump up a little bit. But I'm very much afraid she's going to die like the other one. Right, the tier ones are very weak. Very weak indeed. Come on, you. Don't just stand there. Meet your fate. <laughs> Good. Oops! Look at this. <laughs> Leveled up, thank goodness. Uh, I might as well nobble you as well. Good. And up here. And there were some more hyenas on the left, so we'll take those down. Yeah, there they are. Oh, I'm hungry. Damn it. Um, got a bit of meat. Only a tiny amount. I've got some enhanced gruel. It is gruel, but it actually smells good. I'll eat it. Right, that's cured most of it. And up here. Whoops. There you go. Oh, the other thing I've got to do is pay more attention to my um, journey steps. Because I've been told off for that in the comments. So... Warrior here, for example. The next step is to craft a stone club. Then to target lock an enemy. So we could usefully do that now, couldn't we? Let's craft a stone club. Because that should be fairly easy. There's a stone club. And we need some stones, not surprisingly. Uh, let's just pick some up. <laughs> uh, come on. Do it by hand. I can't be bothered to find the pick. I do have one. Right, that should be enough. Let's find the club again. There we go. Yep. Good journey step. So now we've got a target lock an enemy, do we? We could do that, I'm sure. Then perform a heavy attack. Apply Sunder. Uh, we will need a club for that. But yeah, what we'll do, we'll get our club up. So we can use it when we need it. That can go there. Don't need the bow. Probably will need a torch up there. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> well, this guy looks interesting. Oh, I've done it already. Good, good. Oh, we've performed a heavy attack. She's suffering. Oh, my God. Um, let's take the arrows. Oh, look at this. Mind you, she might have leveled up then. Did she? Uh, no, she's only 195. What are your stats like? They're terrible. They're absolutely awful. Ah, uh, see about robbing these guys though. Now he had a pair of trousers, some hyena fur, and some rotten arrows. I ought to take the arrows. Sort of thing you always run out of. Right, multiple journeys unlocked. Don't know why. The next journey step. Come on. Is to apply sunder. 
Um, so we will need the club for that. Let's get that going. But what we want to do really is knock people out. Ah. Okay. Okay. I don't think we can do that. I think she's just going to die if we do that. She needs to kill them off. Build herself up a little bit. I doubt either of these people, or her either, will be particularly tough. Fight Sunder. Let's get yo. Oh, Smelter. Yeah, we don't need one really. We've got one already. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Curse you. Let's get rid. Oh, come back here, you stupid girl. Oh, she's going to get killed. She's going to get killed. Come over here. Oh. Come on, over here, over here. Over here. Oh, is she coming? Is she coming? Where is she? Oh, she's over there now. Come back. Thank the Lord. These archers are lethal. Another bloody archer. I didn't realise there were so many people down here. Damn it. Oh, look at this. Oh, she's doing quite well. She's doing quite well. Take the more arrows. Oh, is that a nice bow? I yeah, will take that. I think the bow I have at the moment is just a crappy homemade one. But let's go up here. Did you level up at all? Did I just not notice? No, she's still almost at level 3. Which surprises me. I would have thought killing humans would have done us some good, really. Oh. There's you. You just a regular guy. I'm crippled there. One. Down here we might get some lame people, but there don't seem to be anyone interesting. Another smelter. Uh, I will take that. And the arrows as well. Right, down here we might... Oh, there's a dancer. I could do with dancers. But they will probably kill this one very quickly. Unless I get in there. Ah, uh, and we don't have another Wheel of Pain, do we? We don't have a spare one. That's not Brimstone, is it? Let's have a look. Because the reason Brimstone is so important is that I am just under level 30 and I can start making steel at level 30 but you need brimstone for that it's brimstone do you know I had no idea I had no idea you could get brimstone down here I will rip yeah, you I'm apart. sure you will you'll have a good go <laughs> right, they go down fairly easily take that oh meat I do need that uh, dancer's bracelet might as well Good. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? Damn. Is that brimstone too? Hello. Oh, hello. Where are they? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at this. He was a bloody sorcerer. Uh, oh, Kayum of Azura. So, I don't know what he was. What was he? Sorcerers normally run around with some interesting stuff on them, but he didn't. I'll take all of it. Uh, let's look at this. Yeah, to make steel, you need to combine iron with steel fire. And you make steel fire by combining brimstone and tar. Oh god, another one. Hello. Meet your maker, sir. Meet your maker. Uh, another bow, I will have that. Arrows, yes. Got loads of carry weight. Armor patch. Ah, she's all. Oh, look at that. She's a smidge away from level 3. Absolute smidge. I don't think there's too much more down here. Is this all brimstone, though? Well, that's brilliant. Nice. What we'll do, when we go back, if I remember. We'll make some steel fire, just to be ready. Is this new? Has there always been brimstone down here and I just never noticed? Oh, is there anything to read? This location looks like it ought to be more interesting than it actually is. 
But I think the idea is that these people are just runaways. Just hiding out here. Like a Sawney Bean cave. Sawney Bean is the name of a, a famous Scottish cannibal. He used to live with his family in a cave. Very unpleasant individual. But I always imagine Sawney Bean's cave looking something like this. Uh, right, let's go through here. Out again. Motor brimstone. Cannot believe it. Damn it! <laughs> incredible, really. Well, incredible that I've not noticed in the past. But if you've watched episodes before, that shouldn't surprise you. And I don't spot things. Right, let's go and find a horse. We'll have a quick look into Gallimund's tomb. I'll just check that there's still brimstone there. But we won't go too far in, because there's a huge boss croc to deal with. Let's get this down. So we are here. There was Sinner's Refuge. We want to head over to the tomb. Straight ahead of us. And there are people up here. Right, let's get the axe and the shield up. Because what we've got to start doing now is kill sorcerers to get sorcerer's skulls. And, okay, thank you, sir. Right, journey step completed. What was that? I didn't even notice what the next one was. Right, come on. Uh, oh, right, warrior, please. Warrior. Cripple an enemy. Okay, is that what I did, was it? I've done that now. I just completed it without actually noticing. So what's soldier? Defeat an enemy with a strength weapon. Uh, well, we should be able to do that now. This should be a strength weapon, shouldn't it? This axe? Is it? Shield smash? Ugh, I'm guessing so. Get you up again. Alright, let's find out. Okay, let's not find out. Yeah. That was a strength weapon. Oh, a spider. Lovely spider. These are quite attractive, I must say. <laughs> Some of the spiders are quite nice looking. Uh, right, let's look at that journey step again. Uh, so, so, invest 10 attributes into strength. Right, have I... I've got a few to go, haven't I? So I've got six. Well, I've got three to use up. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, let's do that. So one away. And that's what I would have done anyway, so I'm not losing out. There's a few people up here. I think they will probably try to murder us. I think I've died up here before. But if we take them down one at a time. Because as I said, I do need to start harvesting sorcerers. I need their spell pages. I need their skulls. Uh, where did they go? Bloody hell. Oh, here's one. Sorcerer. Oh, okay. Lots of them. Yeah, go on. Go on. Oh, she's doing very well. She's doing very well. Oh, I am looking after her, though. There we go. So, Sorcerer Skull. I'll take it all. You had... Ooh, I like these skull sticks. They're quite nice. Bones are always handy. That... I might as well take that sword as well. They look quite attractive, don't they? Uh, wind chimes. Always nice. And more bones. I didn't need the other shield. But I've got so much carry weight. Ooh. If I pick that up, that is... Yeah. Oh, no. That's just reptile hide. I thought it was something else. There are baby shell back shells that you can pick up. That you can make a nice shield out of. Is that... Oh, no. I was going to say. Is that everyone? Come on, let's get her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should have kept your mouth shut, shouldn't you? We'll teach you. I don't need any more bows. Oh, hello. Sneaking up. Damn it! Uh, take all of that. Oh, nice. I've got a nice bit of uh, golem stuff there. Who was the guy? I heard someone. Oh, here he is. And you had Weather Skull, I think. I need those. We'll start collecting them. 
Okay, you need them to build up your sorcery. I can't remember what for. There's a spell that requires lots of weathered skulls. So we'll take that and a rock nose trophy. I've got somewhere to put a trophy now. Might as well pick that up. Now let's look around here. Oh, there's someone there. Look. Who are you? Let's... Oh. No, I can't take her, can I? Yog, take me! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. She was... Hacks of Six Fingers. What does she do? She must have been some sort of crafts lady. Uh, I'll take the banner and... Well, I'm taking all of it, it seems. Some food. Shellback Hatchling Shell. That's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, King Rocknose Trophy. Go on. Nice. Now, was there a sorcerer's bench around here? Because you can sometimes find interesting stuff on the sorcerer's bench. I'll take some blood. I won't take. I'll take rhino hide. That'll be good. Uh, nothing else. Dizzy from thirst, typically. Let's get some water down us. Good, good. Where were those bloody witch doctors hanging about? I can't see anything that looks like it might have been a sorcery bench. There's him just standing there, gormless. Darn it. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Look. Let's run around. There we go. So sometimes you do find scrolls lying about. Oh god, look at this. How god, look at those legs. <laughs> I do like what they do sometimes around these benches. Uh, right, there's some prisoners there. That doesn't bode well for Gaudia, does it? In this armour. We do need to get us some better armour at some point. So we need to get some thick leather. Uh, I'm not seeing anything left around for us to pick up, though, which is a shame. If we saw any little scrolls, we might be able to use those, but no. So we've looked at everything. Let's go and find Gallimund's tomb. I will take you down as Man well. Flesh. For completeness. Oh, God, look at this. Undead. Oh, no, that's too scary. I will take it, though. We can use that somewhere. Pretty good. Uh, and some food. Dried fish, yeah. And that. I'll take the banner. Go on. Have you leveled up? Yeah, she's... Okay, she's almost level four now. Still pathetic, but better than nothing. So Gallimund's tomb should be just below us. We're on top of it, in fact. So if we run down here, and Gallimund's tomb is quite an important place for the law, because there are various artifacts you need to collect to finish the game, and one of the artifacts is in here, or rather it's a fraction of an artifact. There are three pieces of broken stone you need to find and sort of glue together. And one of the pieces is down here. Unfortunately, it's inside a giant crocodile. Which doesn't make it very handy. But what we can do... This is brimstone, surely. Yeah? Is it? It is! So we've still got brimstone. Let's go down. We'll have a quick look. Loads of crocodiles to nobble. Got to be careful of our girl. Should be alright though. Have that. And another one. Is there any glowing goop down here? Oh, no. Let's get you. Hack him up. Ooh. Good. She's doing very well. She's doing very well. More brimstone. More crocs. Let's have you, sir. Good, good. Get more crocs, and there's the boss croc at the back. Ah, I don't really want to try and take him on. You can lure him all the way out of this dungeon. It's quite fun. 
Should we try doing that? We might, oh no, she'll just get it. Oh, she'll attack and then die. We can't really do that. Let's get a few of the little crocs over. Yep. No, no, no. I don't want that happening. You're very naughty. Over here, please. Come on. Come on, you bad Shemite. Get, get a roar. She'll fill the back of my hand in a minute. Are these uh, anything I can mine? These, no, that's just crap. Yeah, there's nothing else down here apart from, yeah, brimstone. That enormous crocodile. I don't think there's even any chests, but never mind. So there's Gallerman's tomb. Yeah, if you're strong enough to take on the crocodiles, that's quite a good place to shelter from the sandstorm. If you don't have any shelter or a sandstorm mask. Is that a horse down there? Did I? Oh no, it's a deer or an antelope. You used to find horses around here, but I've not seen one here for ages and ages. I think they moved them. In this area, it wasn't exactly, you know, thronging with little horses, little foals. But there's a few of them. We've not seen one here for many moons. Uh, you go looking around here, I suppose. But where we're heading for now is roughly in this direction. Because I'm sure there are horses along there. But we'll run along, keeping a look at as we go. And if we see some crocs, we'll take those down too, just to level up our follower. And there should be some more camps up here as well. I think the camps are larger though. Probably a bit tougher than the ones we've looked at so far. Go up here. Anything going on? I thought there was a camp up here. No. Right, we might see horses down here. Oh, there's someone. Just a rando wandering around. That's unusual. There should be a camp near here. Let's go down and say hello. Oh, well, they get screamed at. Stomach hurts again. Bloody hell. Damn it. I didn't know they've got bosses down here. Right, well, you. Heavy pauldron, nice. Good, well, we can swap that out. Let's put that on. Uh, we've got some nice trousers from that. Leggings of Azura. It's only light armour. Nothing to get excited about. Where's that pauldron gone? There it is. Staring me in the face. Let's put that on. Good. So I've now got some heavy armour on me. Super duper. I could... Oh, no, she's got medium, same as me. I was going to swap some out, but no. Yeah, those one skull bosses, apparently some of them you can knock out. So if I remember she's here, we might try nobbling her in the future. So we saw her just there. Just next to Cannibal's Rest. <laughs> Cannibal's Rest, that well-known resort. But there have been horses around here, so I keep babbling to myself. There have been foals here in the past. Cannibal's Rest is, I think, quite a small place. So we could try taking it down. Let's see if we can get some more sorcerer stuff. There it is, it's up there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's a croc. I'll just normal you. Good, good. And you are level four, coming on five. Very nice. She's growing up fast, doing us proud. Right, there's another camp over there, a very big one. Ugh. No sorcerers here, I don't think. Come on, you. Dancer. Won't have anything useful on you, will you? No, more heads. I'll take the bones. Bones are quite useful. Well, what's going on? What's this? A rabbit? I don't want to attack the rabbit, honestly. Damn it. Look at this. Saucy man. Gotcha. And she was killed. Of course she was killed. Of course she was bloody well killed. Tier 2. 
don't believe it. I took my eye off the ball for a second. And now she's dead. Oh, bollocks to hell. I don't believe it. it's pointless having tier one people, isn't it? Absolutely pointless. I will take all your skulls. Alright, 91% now. Damn it! Oh, ridiculous. As soon as you start getting attached to people, they drop dead. It's most unfortunate. But let's swim over here. Um, we could take down this camp by ourselves, I think. We could find some... Well, there definitely will be sorcerers here. If we do it slowly, we should be all right. Get our little shield up. Get going round. Ah! <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Armour repair kit. I will take it. I do like their sort of dying words sometimes. They're quite poignant. <laughs> Hiya! Sounds like Miss Piggy. Come on, you. Oh, bollocks. Look at this. A cook. I could do with a cook. Oh, no, no, run away, run away! No, no, don't lock on. Don't lock on. Come here, you bastard! Or oh, bitch, I should say. Don't lock on, don't lock on, don't lock on! Why are you bloody... Oh, look at this. Oh, I was locked on. Let's go back to my bed. Damn it. Oh, how embarrassing. Ugh. Yeah, I was killed by myself. Yeah, technically, I threw myself off the cliff. Oh, there's nothing in here, is there? Anyway, we're back in our private quarters. Everyone's sniggering at us, no doubt. Ah, oh, let's run past the guys. Walk of shame here, isn't it? Damn. Yeah, all right. All right, keep your comments to yourself. Uh, oh, what are you doing, by the way? Are you... Blimey, he's halfway. Halfway done. Right, he might be completed by the time we get back. So we have to just basically run up here... Is it worth taking anyone with us? I mean, we might as well. I mean, you're only going to die eventually, aren't you? Not much point keeping around. Actually, you've got some armour on you, at least. Let's get you following. Give you some food. I'm sure you don't have any. Got any weapons on you? He did have some food on him, and he's level one. Okay, I hadn't realised that. Right, let's get going. Let's get going. You're going to have to deal with people along the way. Go past this horrible crocodile. Uh, can you sort him out? Sort him out. Come on. I can't do this by myself. I can punch him over it. That's it. One more. Two more. Don't die on me. Thank goodness for that, honestly. Alright, don't do that. Don't do that, Gouda. Pay attention. We've got to get over there. There's my corpse. Hopefully I can pick everything up. Without them noticing. I need to keep my guy alive to carry a horse for me. Come on, you. That's it. Yeah, we've got to stay uh. alive, fella. Uh. Oh, damn it. Where's my stuff? God, I'll take you. <gasps> Let's get the club up. Picked the wrong fight. Nobly. Damn it! I'm dying already. Come over. Where's my stuff? Where's... Watch your flats. Me and me mates. Right, let's get the sword going. And again, and again. This one is just being irritating. You're down. You're down. What happened to my other gear? That was a <laughs> gorilla head. I will take that. Quite like the gorilla heads. But we got to run away. we got to run away over here. Oh, follow, I cannot move there. Come on. Come away. We've got to get this horse. Oh, I'm getting there. Lots of manky crocodiles. From memory, the folds are about 50 carry weight, which is why I'm going to need some help carrying one. Unless I want to dump most of the stuff I've been picking up. <laughs> Let's go over here. What's that? Okay, shell bags. 
Not too worried about them. Are those shellbacks fighting each other? Oh, they're fighting a crocodile. Okay. So we've got to run across here. Or swim, I should say. We've landfall once more. We've got to be a little bit careful because there is a beach around here called Slithering Beach, I think, that's full of giant snakes. So we do have to watch out for them. But we are here now. I think we've got to get to this bit from memory. Right, nothing too horrible. Swim over again. So we're coming around the corner. This looks familiar. This looks very familiar. Up, up, up. Oh. Okay, perhaps not as familiar as I thought. There's a rock branch over there. Three skull boss, very unpleasant. Very naughty fellow. Avoid him. There should be another human boss around here. Well, there is. Look, there we go. We could take them down. Give our guy what they're carrying, potentially. So let's take down the boss. You've got anything good on you? Oh, one is distracted. Sneak up. Ooh, not very tough at all. What did you have? Cruth one blow. And it's not even cooked. It's not even bloody cooked. Ridiculous. Okay, this is horse territory now. This is horse territory. Jump down. Where are ya? So we should be fairly safe. There should be lots of um, shellbacks. Oh, there's some birds. I've forgotten about the birds. They can be a bit tasty sometimes. Yeah, if we run into a boss bird, our guy is dead meat, frankly. So let's hope we don't. Anyone look particularly bossy? No. Leveled up. Good. There's a deer. Birdie. Pretty Polly wants a cracker. Nice. Oh, go on. All right, then. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them, isn't there? Oh, where are the bloody horses gone? Nothing but birds. It would be quite fun if you could ride a big bird. Where do they go? Well, we're too far down. Unless they're over here. Are they all the way over there? Oh. Because these monitor lizards are quite dangerous. They've got a poisonous bite. Yeah, you see, there's the southern... What's it called? The southern barracks, is it? Oh, eastern barracks. Throat's dry. Come on. That's just full of imps. We have come too far. Bloody hell! <laughs> Lord. So they're poisonous, you see. Damn it. Ah, uh, drop me guard again. Drops it again. Let's go around here. We'll have to backtrack a little way, I think. I'm pretty sure we saw horses straight away when we were down here last. Because we have been down here in this playthrough. So where in heck's name are they? Oh... Perhaps we have to head inland a little bit. Well, not inland, inland, but up one of these inlets. So that's where the one skull boss was. The rock branch is over there, is he? Yeah, there he is. There, there's a horse. Two of them. Bloody hell, where have you been hiding? Okay, yo. All right, over encumbered, as I suspected. Let's get you a horse. Right, he's got a foal now. We might as well get another one. Since we're here. The horses shouldn't take too long to brew up. Come on. Get him. Get him. Damn it. Just press square to pick up the horse. There we go. Thank you. Now over here. Ah, let's get the other one up. Right. Let's get going. Let's go back home. Damn, I've just realised I didn't show you the location on the map. We must have been down here, though, mustn't we? So we've swum across this bit of water here. We came round that corner. So we were around here. It was around here, essentially. 
the place where I thought it was. But why we didn't see the foals the first time round, I'm not sure. Perhaps they just hadn't spawned in. Phew, this is taking forever, isn't it? That was a long swim back. Let's get a horse in there. Ah, the thing is, these horses have got a sell-by date. So if you don't do something with them fairly quickly, they just drop dead, the little foals. So hopefully we can cook this one up and he will be okay. And the other one will be still fresh enough to turn into a proper horse. So have we actually started this? Yeah, this crafting queue has started. Very slowly though, damn. Good. Have we started that off? What's the, what does it say under custom? Okay, that's just sorting. Okay, no, he's crafting away. Good. I shall leave you here with the other foal for the time being. And now we will go and make some steel fire, I think. So we've got everything for that. Because we can actually make some steel. Because I reached level 30. Very nice. You have finished. Oh no, still going. Still going. Have you run out of food? Oh, damn it. Okay. That was stupid. I should have given you more gruel. Put that in there. Get that going again. Oh, he would have been done if I put more gruel in there. Poo. Uh, right, you've got loads of tar on you, haven't you? Should have been like, yeah, tons and tons of it. Okay, good. Let's go upstairs to the fireball cauldron. Uh, up and up and up. And there we go. Let's put in the tar and the brimstone. And we should have steel fire over here. Yep. Let's craft all of those. Well, that's taking a while, isn't it? That's quite irritating. But in the meantime, we can get rid of some of our gear. Hang on, I'll just sort out some stuff. Well, I've just realised we should be in a position to upgrade our Tome of Curac. Because to upgrade it, to get a new spell in there, we just need to have a Sorcerer's Spell page, which we've got. We've got one of those. Some Putrid Meat and some Stone. And I think we've got all of that. We'll get some Stone in there. Do we have some Putrid Meat? We have a little bit of that. Did I? Oh, there we go. So can we just do that then? Yeah, let's craft it up. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Doing the old magic spells. Right, word of power, blood right, soul drain, and bed wisp, and imbue wisp, which are all quite fun. Good, so the next one we need is going to require a sorcerer spell page, feral flesh, and a feather, or at least five feathers. Okay, the sorcerer spell pages are things that you'll find on dead sorcerers. And you'll also find things called failed spell pages. And I think if you've got 10 failed spell pages, you can turn that into one proper spell page. So it's just a question of attacking sorcerers and robbing them blind. We want to go over here to the cauldron and we've got 11 steel fire. That should be enough for the time being. Let's go downstairs to the smelter. So here we go. And from memory, it's just a question of combining the steel fire with the um, iron. So where is the steel fire? There we go. Cook that up. Oh, nothing happening. It's just burning. Why is it not doing anything? Have I got lots of iron in there? Uh, I haven't got too much iron, actually. Um, let's stop that. Why did that not work? 25 steel fire, because I did find some before. I've just been adding it here. Lots of fuel. Do I need more iron? What's the ratio? Right, let's go and find some iron. Right, here's some ore. I could get some bars from the blacksmith bench, but I won't. This is as easy, really. Oh, God. okay, okay. Boss hyena. Boss hyena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this turned out to be not very easy at all. And I've been corrupted as well. Oh, I can't leave them over there. They'll kill my guys. Oh, darn it. Keep keep going, keep going. Can I climb up something? Yeah, we can climb up that, can't we? Hopefully. 
before they start snapping at me. Good. Uh, I do want to take down that naughty, naughty hyena. Should be able to do it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get the one over here first. Can we do that before? No, no, they're all coming. They're all coming. Um, let's get up back to the water. Take you down. Damn it. Damn. Okay, okay. Come back. Back, back, back. Shield up. Phew. Right, if I hack you up, I should get some nice stuff out of you. Some demon blood, at least. I need to start collecting demon blood. A little bit of demon blood. Yeah, a little bit. Some steel fire, too. That's good. Excellent. Right, come, come away. Come away. Stop looking back. Rubber necking. Right, here's the iron. Uh, should be enough for a bit more iron. I think the ratio of iron to steel might be 5 to 1 or 3 to 1, which is why it might not have done anything. So let's just check it out, unless I'm missing something. It used to be that when you got to level 30, you could make steel. Or perhaps I need to learn that. There we go, steel tools at level 30, and I did need to learn that. So let's do that now, okay. Uh, let's just chuck you in. Get this going. There we go, excellent. So I'm now making iron, which is being converted immediately to steel. Well, not immediately. So yeah, it just seems to be a ratio of five to one. So the iron is brewing up now here. You look at the bottom right and then I shall get five steel out of that good that's very nice um, so we've upgraded our spell book we learned some new words of power we can make steel we've got a named thrall in there cooking away very pleased we've got a horse so things are looking up for Gaudia aren't they I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode but whatever we do do it will be on horseback so anyway hope you'll join me for that and until I see you again, I shall say good night. Okay then, cheerio.